Here's a small electric motor that I pulled from a toy. Everyone knows if you hook the ends of the wires to the battery, then the motor will turn. Most people know if you take those same battery wires and hook them to, say, a light bulb, like this case, and turn the motor, the motor will actually act as a small generator and power the light bulb. What I'm going to show you is how to keep that light bulb going using this method without the use of a battery. And I'm going to show you how to do it now. Here's everything you need to make this work, except this. You won't need this anymore. We've got the same motor hooked to the same light bulb using a Philadelphia cream cheese lid. The reason I'm using it is because it's already spaced out perfect with these 12 lines that run around the edge. We've got some super glue, crazy glue, some scotch tape. I have three matches that I will use as a tripod for my motor, and I'm just going to use this to cut my matches to length. I have 12 nano magnets. You can find these in some kids' toys, or you can find them online. They're very powerful. And I have two magnets together. I pulled these out of electric motors that are ran around a track. This is what holds the cars to the track. They're probably three times more powerful than the nano magnets. So that's all you need to make this work. So here's what you want to build. On the Philly cream cheese lid at every line, I cut a notch just big enough for the nano magnet to slide into, and I super glued each one into place. I made sure that the polarity of the magnets ran the same all the way around the lid. I cut a hole in the middle of the lid just big enough for the gear to slide through, and I super glued that into place. Now I made this in its most raw form to show you that the only wires that's running in this motor is this light bulb. I scotch taped each leg of the tripod into place after super gluing them to the motor. And I don't want them to slide across the table when I hold the magnet close to get the wheel spinning. And again, all right, so let's, let's try this out. Hold the magnet, find the distance that you need to get the motor going at its maximum speed. 